All right, welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm the Florida Bearded Woodworker. This is part two of the unboxing. I know the first part didn't go well, and I was going to put it all together, but the instructions are they're decent. You can figure it out. They're not the best. I recommend watching Earl's video on how to put this thing together. So there are a few things that I didn't like about it. You can see here the screws went through the top. I had to tap them down again and fill it in with some wood paste. You can see here his little board sticks out past the board he gave me. I mean, these are Craig. These are this, this is minor stuff. You could really fix it up a lot better, and your quality control is probably shot, buddy. Scratches all over the top of this. Doesn't really matter, I guess. But I, my first impressions. I'm not very impressed with the quality. I mean, it, it, the, the machining's good, but the screw doesn't go in very. Uh, easily and it threads are showing you'd think it'd be all the way threaded down um, had to fight it to get it in there it wasn't cross threaded or anything I don't think you're using the proper die and screw combination that may be me um, I have plenty of room here on the lathe for one more ring you know there's no reason to screw us out of uh, the last diameter the one 194 what is it I'll look right here Uh, uh, yeah, 192. I don't have that on here, and it limits my abilities. And I have a good solid. Let's get a tape measure on this. I got a good inch and a quarter left on there, so there's no reason you couldn't have added one more ring on there. Uh, just, just saying. Well, that's what we paid for. It's not what we got. Everything else seems to be all right. Um, it lines up nicely and it, it goes it does what it's supposed to do um, we'll try it out we'll see how it works there's still a little bit of flex in there but I don't know if that really matters we'll see how everything lines up um, the stop push could be a little flatter here I understand that it's machined that way but you might want to uh, grind that off these corners you know, it's not clear where to put the bar. I put it all the way to the edge because that's where I'll be working off the center. I only have 11 and a half, so I'm limited now. I mean, I guess I could have slid it over another eighth of an inch, it looks like. I could have, yeah, a quarter of an inch maybe, but I don't, but anyhow. So all that aside, it seems to be doing what it'll say it's going to do. Earl's little invention should turn out very well. As you guys know, I'm working on this project here. So a couple, of, I'm going to do four platters for church so they can pass the platters and get some money going in there. And I'm using the program, the Segmented Pro, Segmented Pro. And it cuts down my turnings down to everything. And we'll see how it works. It says that I, uh, the outer diameter. So I guess that's basically how we work it. We'll come in here, move it closer to the piece. Set the segment up. I've got one here. We're just doing a mock little deal. I guess that's how we'll line it up off of that corner edge there. And or actually it'll go this way. Boom. So we'll see how that works. Let me look over here, get in your way real quick. I guess that'll work. If you get into some really small segments, smaller than a half inch, that's what I've got here. I'm just short. Yeah, it's just about a half inch. 
So I think anything less than that, you might have to make your own stop block. But it looks like it'll do what it's supposed to do. Well, we'll, we'll turn a bowl and find out. I, I don't know what more to say. It, it seems to be exactly what it says it's going to do. So, and you can see, you can easily move the wheel. They tell you to put it on the inside here. I've got plenty of room so I can do that. Some people might not, depending on your lathe setup. But, so I guess we'll see you next time and we'll shoot a uh, video of uh, a bowl going together. I'll put some prep work together. I got all my pieces cut. I just got some sanding to do and uh, some. I, or I've got my wood milled. Top rings are cut. I'm sanding those. Those are the solid accent ring on the top to hold everything. And then uh, we'll cut and glue as we go. All right. I'll post a link on Earl's video. Remember, the world keeps turning. Turn with it. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Tell me what you like. Didn't like pointers, tips, um, Craig you put together a decent product I would have liked to have seen it come assembled and maybe a little better quality control other than that everything's good to go have a great day